Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. In this video, I got 10 Dollar Tree DIYs for you. Some of the best looking DIYs that you can use year round. We got 10 of these bad boys to get through, so we're getting started right now. And for this first idea, all you gotta do is grab any old planter, poke three holes around the top of your planter. You can do this with a drill or a hot glue gun. Pick up some of Dollar Tree's caulk in their tooled section, and you're gonna add a boatload all over your planter. Paint one super duper thick layer. I found it easiest to use a paint drip brush, just kind of wet it down as I go. Pick up a bag of small pebbles, and you're gonna sprinkle that all over your planter. And then after you have it sprinkled where it's totally covered, you really wanna pack those pebbles in. Don't forget to poke out the holes at the top that we made and then leave your planter alone overnight. Let the caulking dry. Then all you gotta do is just hang up your planter. So I'm using some of Dollar Tree's wired jute, but you can use a chain or regular twine. It really doesn't matter. Y'all, I really love the way this turned out. One, I love the texture. It takes a basic planter up to the next level. And I really love this technique. So I actually made this DIY last summer. I wanted to leave it out to make sure it was gonna weather the storms that we have here in Texas, the cold, the hot, the heat, and it looks fine. So you can see that's May of last year. And then here's a photo from February of this year. And we are on to the next one, my friend, where I really hope you're sitting down because this is one of the best looking cheapest, most high-end looking DIYs you'll ever see. It's definitely my favorite in the video. All you have to do is pick up a ceramic souffle dish from Dollar Tree along with a ceramic matching plate. Use some hot glue for an immediate hold. And then you wanna use some type of strong hold permanent glue like gel super glue or E6000. I prefer gel super glue. It has a great hold on wood, ceramics, glass, and this is the most beautiful tray for only $2.50. The best thing, it's food safe because we didn't paint it. We didn't put any chemicals on the top part of the plate, but you could also use it to decorate year round. Use it for Christmas or use it for fall. The possibilities are endless with this one. And I really do think it looks super high end. Stuff like this will go on Pottery Barn for like $30 or $40. Grab four wood signs. Don't worry about what's on the front of your wood signs. Just make sure they are the same size, but they don't have to match style wise or color wise. We're going to use some more gel super glue. You're going to add a long strip or a little bead all the way down the sides of your signs, and you're going to glue all four signs together. Another reason I love gel super glue is for the fast dry time, only 10 or 15 minutes, you're ready to go. Then you can paint your sign whatever color your heart desires. My heart desired black and I prefer spray painting, but you can totally hand paint. Pick up a few thumbtacks and some faux leather ribbon, both available at the old DT. What you're going to do is you're going to cut two strips of ribbon down to the same size, fold them over and push the thumbtack through the ends. Not sure my words are making sense, but I know you saw what I was doing. Then you can just hammer the thumbtacks into the sides of your sign because our sign is now a tray and it'll look like this. And you're going to repeat that step on the opposite side of our sign, which is now our tray. And then to reinforce your handles, you don't have to do this, but if you want to make this a working tray that you can pick up with the handles, reinforce it with super glue, gel super glue, maybe E6000. I don't know, I'm not a big E6000 gal. I don't know how well it works on wood. Gel super glue has worked great for me. And I love this sign, y'all. I think this looks really nice. I don't think it looks like a Dollar Tree DIY. This worked great outdoors or indoors. You can put it wherever your heart desires. I really love the way this looks though. And we are on to the next one. All you need to do is print off on regular printer paper your favorite photo. And then grab one of Dollar Tree's bamboo cutting boards, trace out your photo, and then cut out around your photo. You're not cutting exactly where you traced. You wanna give yourself about half of an inch around the perimeter of the photo. You can use a basic regular old glue stick, glue your photo to your board, and then how we are gonna get the cleanest, 
most professional looking cut, it'll look like you bought it this way, is just using some sandpaper or even a nail file to swipe back and forth and swipe away from your photo. This will give you a perfect fit. There's no trying to guess or replace the picture exactly where you traced. It just comes out perfect every single time. Then to display your photo, you can do that however you want. But I really love these wooden easels from Dollar Tree. They look great in wood, but because where I'm putting my photo, I painted it black. You can paint yours whatever color you want, or you can leave it wood tone. Looks great either way. And I don't know if you noticed, this is also another Dollar Tree tray I made. I just put the handles in a different position. By the way, this technique is great on any of Dollar Tree's wood products. So you can get their little wood cutouts. They come in different shapes. Add some cork on the bottom and then add a photo to the front to make a little coaster. You just want to seal your coaster with clear spray paint or some type of clear sealant to keep the water out. For this next idea, you just need two woven bath rugs and a ripper. <laughs> Up until recently, I called it a reaper. You reap what you sow. I know that has to do with crops, but I was just thinking this was called a reaper. Made sense to me. Anyways, use a ripper to remove the stitches on both sides of the rug for both rugs. Then you're going to remove the tassel knots from both rugs once again on both sides. Use a boatload of hot glue, extremely high heat to hot glue the sides of your rugs together. Y'all, I've done this a bunch of times. I use a high temp hot glue gun, regular basic old hot glue sticks. I even use the generic Walmart brand. This works out fine. Just make sure you let your hot glue cool all the way. You can even throw these pillows because we're making a pillow in the washer on cold and dry it on low to no heat. Then you're going to tie back the tassels on one side of your pillow. So we're not hot gluing the shorter ends. We're just tying the tassels back and you want to stuff your pillow. You can use old t-shirts, old pillows, old stuffed animals, or a great option is Dollar General sells value pillows for a great price. And one value pillow will stuff two DIY throw pillows. After you stuffed up your pillow, you just tie back the tassels on the opposite end of your pillow. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm gonna say pillow in this video, but I do love the way this pillow works. It would make a great indoor pillow, but these are perfect for outdoors. In fact, I've made many Dollar Tree outdoor pillows with their bath rugs because they dry out nicely. They hold up nicely. I have some that I made four years ago. They're going strong. And once again, you can wash these, which is great, so. Yeah, and they're hot glued as well. For this next idea, just grab a wooden shape, wooden rectangle, and some wooden beads. Little bit of wood glue, or my favorite, gel super glue, four little dabs in the corners, add your beads. That is it. That's the DIY, my friend. Here's a really cool riser. Simple, but easy, impactful. You know, use this with your salt and pepper or with your soap and lotion. I just think it elevates it. I like keeping things lifted off the counter. It's easier to clean, and especially if water gets underneath it. Pick up one sheet of the cork. It's cork adhesive sheet. It's like a sheet of cork. It's sticky on one side. Then just take some recycled cardboard paper. The cardboard that's not two ply, just one. Like I used a golden grams, no, graham cracker box and trace out some type of circle. I use the top of a candle. And what you're gonna do is you're just covering up the adhesive or the sticky side of the cork. Grab some Dollar Tree rope, hot glue that all around your circle until you get to the middle finish, cut it off, make sure it's nice, tight, hot glued. You don't want any spaces in between and then cut that off. And we just made ourselves some really nice coasters. You can make two to four coasters, depending on how big you make them. You can also make them with the white nautical rope. Once again, these are nice coasters. They work great. I made mine extra big for big mugs, big tumblers. You could even get crazy and mix the brown and white rope together. I didn't try it, but I would bet a dollar or two it would look just as nice. For this next idea, you're gonna need two of Dollar Tree's wooden signs. Once again, don't worry about what's printed or painted on the front. 
just make sure they are the same size. Use some wood glue or some gel super glue, my fave, to glue your two signs together and then paint your two signs. You can spray paint or hand paint. It was raining this day, so I was forced to hand paint. Then last time I was at Dollar Tree, I saw these storage containers. They're metal, they're tin. I, I picked them up, I bought them because I thought they were magnetic, which would be perfect for what I needed at the time. They didn't work out for that. No worries, they're gonna work out great for this DIY. Just use some gel super glue or E6000 to glue your containers all the way down your two signs. And we have a really nice little votive holder. So you can just throw the candles right in there. Once again, these containers are metal, really pretty look. I think this would be pretty outdoors on a patio, on a little coffee table or end table outdoors, or take it up a notch. And Dollar Tree will sell these glass votives. You get four for $1.25. If you wanna put this indoors or you just want more protection or maybe you wanna use bigger candles and get that glass reflective look. I'm going back and forth if I wanna paint the metal tins black as well. or And I was also thinking maybe I could paint them gold. I don't know. I might try painting them black first and if I don't like that, I'm gonna go back and paint them gold. I'm not a big silver gal when it comes to everyday decor. So I don't know, what do you think? Should I? keep them black or paint them black or paint them gold. Let me know what you're thinking. For this next idea, grab one of Dollar Tree's wooden faux cutting boards. And then this is a free printable I made. It's kitchen measurements. Anytime I make a printable, I share it with you for free. And that is linked in the description. And we just used a glue stick to attach our paper just like we did with our photo. The only difference is this cutting board wasn't totally smooth. So I just used a pencil to roll out the bubbles. So there's a little trick for you. But everything else is the same. I just used sandpaper, sanded it away, and it turned out great. I love this because it's functional, because I never, as much as I cook, I don't remember measurement conversions, but it's also decorative. It blends in. It's functional decor, my favorite type of decor. For this last idea, we got a no waste DIY for your almost burnt down candles. So any candle that you love, that you have on hand, it's almost burnt down, too low to burn, but still some smell in there. Melt them on low to medium heat for about 25 to 35 minutes. You can mix your waxes together if you like, and you're gonna use some of Dollar Tree's baking molds or some of their ice cube trays to make yourself brand new wax melts. Now Dollar Tree will sell molds and uh, ice cube trays year round for different seasons. They even have like every day, just like square and round ones. I got these for Valentine's day or from Valentine's day. And I love them because hearts I think can be used year round. You can also turn these into gifts. It's just a great way to use up that wax smell that you love. You don't want to throw it away. I hate wasting. And then you can also save the candle jar. I do anyways, for Q-tips, I just clean it out or I'll use it to make new candles. Anyways, if you're still here, you're the real MVP. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. I think my next video might be some patio DIYs. I'm not really sure, but I'll catch you next time.